This is Sol Johnston and activity 9.3.2.12. This is for CIS 102, spring quarter. And I just wanted to go ahead and do our configuring extended ACL scenario 3. So basically we're going to be setting up our router here to get all this configured. And you're going to do enable, configure terminal. And if you do everything right, from what it says on here, you should get 100%. So it's IP access list extended ACL. And then deny TCP host 172.31.1.101 host 64.101. Dot 255.254 EQ80. I always think of EQ like equipment. And then our next one will be the same exact one but 443 because that's for HTTPS. Of course, we know 80 is the regular um, hypertext protocol HTTP plain text version. So our next one right here will be basically change just slightly. So when you scroll on down, it'll be 103 right here. So you want to go right here. And change that to 103. And then we're going to do the same exact thing, but put 443 for HTTPS. And then, and I'm just pressing the up arrow to, to have it refill in each one of these areas. And then we're going to change this one to the 102. And it's going to be 64.101. And then it's going to be the port 21, because that's what FTP is. And then our next one is going to be our 103. And for the INC, I, ICMP, basically we're going to click, we're going to put deny ICMP host 172.31.1.103 host 64.101.255.254 then we're going to do deny ICMP host 172.31.1.103 and host 64.103 dot two fifty five dot two fifty four and then deny all is the default so we now have to tell it to permit some things so we want to permit everything but these ones that we denied right now so permit IP any any so any source destination and any uh, destination so anything being received and sent and then we're going to go to interface G0 slash 0. And this is where we're basically going to say which port we're going to be blocking some stuff on. And we're going to do it on the end port where it's coming into the router. And if you look at our packet tracer so far, it will say 100 out of 100. So we're complete and that's on this part. And now we just have to test our configurations. Now if we go to the web browser, basically on server one or actually uh, PC one I mean we're going to be typing this address in right here the 64.101.255.254 and it'll automatically do the regular HTTP and it should say hostname unresolved because it can't access it so there we go and then we can also do HTTPS and we should have the same problem. And then we 
can also ping each each part right here. So let's go in here and let's go to command prompt. Let's do ping. Or actually, instead of pinging, we're going to do FTP, I mean. FTP 64.101.255.254. And our password Cisco and then Cisco. So we're able to log in with PC1. Now let's go ahead and just use quit the, to log out of that. And then our next step is we're going to try to go do our FTP on our server 2, which will be 64.103.255.254. same passwords and everything and we know that we can log in and we're going to go ahead and ping our server one and we see that it responds and then we're going to ping our server two which is the 103 and we can see that it responds Now we're going to check and see if our configuration actually works because now we know it works with PC1 and for PC2 something should be be blocked. So if we ping our server 1, just do 64.101.255.254. So if you try to do the FTP for our server 1, to 64.101.255.254 you'll see it'll deny, it'll deny our access from PC2 and also for the 103 which is uh, the server 2 you want to go ahead and try it there too and it should deny our access and there you go